Sarah Brent, condolences tonight from the current administration, Governor Ned Lamont and Lieutenant Governor Susan Bysowitz, saying they lost a mentor tonight. They're remembering a Wiker as a bigger than life person, saying that he was more than just an accomplished lawmaker and governor, but also a friend. They say Wiker, many may think of Wiker as the income tax governor, but they say he fought for so much more. They say they admired Wiker's political courage during issues like Watergate and the Vietnam War. He championed fights for the environment, people with disabilities, HIV and AIDS research, and was pro choice. Lamont, believing Weicker took the lead on lots of issues before they were in the public consciousness. I know it was a battle there at the end, but I stayed in pretty good contact with him over this last uh, five years, and uh, I'll miss him every day. He was someone who had quite a perspective on both state and national politics, and um, we've so appreciated all the advice and mentorship that he's given to us. Many other elected officials and state leaders offering condolences for Weicker tonight. Connecticut's U.S. Senator Chris Murphy calling Weicker, quote, one of the most consequential leaders in Connecticut history. And Connecticut's other U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal saying Weicker, quote, did immense good for Connecticut and our country, and he did it his way, end quote. Weicker is survived by his wife, as well as five sons, two stepsons, 12 grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. Live at the state capitol, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.